Hello there everybody, it is me Leo and welcome back to another video. So today we're back with another speed build and this time we're building another vacation home. This one is built in Granite Falls and it's called the Modern Scandinavian Cabin. Uh, so for this video I used a mod. Uh, it's the snow mod by SimCookie to bring snow into the game. And for those of you guys who want to download that mod, I will put links to that in the description below. Also, I will be uploading two versions of this build on the gallery simply because a lot of people seem to have trouble finding my mod uploads on the gallery. So just to make it easier for everybody, I'm going to upload the snowy version which is the modded version of this build and also the cc free version which is normally what i do every time i build using mods anyway so all of that will be in the description below for you guys okay um so for this build i wanted to recreate kind of like this year-round vacation home inspired by contemporary Scandinavian architecture. I almost called this build the contemporary Scandinavian cabin, but unfortunately I couldn't fit all of it in the upload, so I just settled for modern Scandinavian cabin instead because I felt like that was just as good anyway. But for this build, I really wanted to have that stereotypical kind of like contemporary barn look with that iconic blackened wood exterior and also that really trendy um, contemporary Scandinavian interior as well. Uh, so we're going to be seeing more of that later on. But for the exterior, I kept it really simple. I focused a lot of my attention on the shape and the silhouette of the build. Um, contemporary Scandinavian architecture, it's all about the mass. Um, so this one is only one mass um, and um, in front it has a steeply pitched gable roof in the back, you guys will see later on, it's got a half um, hip roof. And then um, for the roof, I wanted it to extend all the way to the wall because that's kind of like pretty typical of these trendy contemporary Nordic lake houses. Um, I couldn't find a material that matched the roof and the wall, but I tried my best to make it look like it was matchy-matchy, so I think it, it still worked out in the end. Um, I also noticed that in contemporary Scandinavian architecture, it's got kind of like this quirky aspect. Um, so I put these um, cantilevered protrusions, um, one in front and then there's another one on the side. Um, and I thought that that just brought a little bit of sense of humor into this build. But I think the real focal point is the cutouts. I had so much fun doing the cutouts on the side of the house. Um, I thought that they looked really good. Um, so for this back, we have this end wall. Uh, normally, this would have been entirely made out of glass but of course we can't do that in the sims 4 without using custom content so i may do with what little we have in the game but this is where i actually decided to change the roof of the back part from a gable to a half hip roof instead because i felt like that made the windows look so much better um, but yeah, for this build, I really wanted to do kind of like one of those um, Nordic lakeside cabins that had like the blackened wood exterior. That technique of blackening the wood is actually an ancient Japanese technique. I forget the name specifically, 
but they actually burn the wood and it makes the wood um, more durable and it even makes the wood more waterproof as well. Um, so there is a purpose to why there's so many contemporary and modern trendy homes that have that wood exterior because who knew it actually has um, more than just an aesthetic purpose but right now we're already working on the inside and um, the shape of the house itself is pretty straightforward it's just a rectangle but for the inside it's a lot of um, open floor plans um, I noticed that a lot of Scandinavians, I'm not sure if this is typical, but Scandinavian people are very much um, outdoorsy people. I don't know. I, I I mean, I watch a couple of Scandinavian YouTubers, PewDiePie, and he is like super outdoorsy. I noticed like um, a couple of years ago, he played The Witcher 3, which is one of my favorite games, by the way. and. Um, I was surprised that he was recognizing all of this plant and foliage out that outside. So I was like, wow, I guess Scandinavians are pretty outdoorsy, um, which it makes sense because, um, you know, I believe that <laughs> Scandinavians are masters of this really trendy um, indoor outdoor living. Because so many of their homes have these really big windows um, and sometimes you can really tell which is the inside and which is the outside which is um, quite interesting but there's a couple of notable things I learned about when it comes to designing Scandinavian art interiors um, and these are pretty new to me but um, typically Scandinavian interiors are white and they would have um, black accents and also a lot of neutral colors as well um, recently they have a lot of light pastel accents like um, mint green and I think um, pastel pink colors um, they also use a lot of um, fresh plants. I noticed that a lot of the plants are just smaller plants. They don't have lots of big, you know, big plants inside. So I just chose smaller plants for the interior. And then the floors are usually made out of light wood. Um, it's usually made out of pine and usually they just keep the natural color of the wood or sometimes they paint it white. Um, Scandinavian interiors do not use carpets. So carpets are a big no-no and also dark wood floors as well. So that's pretty interesting. Um, so for the kitchen, I tried my best to make it look Scandinavian and I'm really happy with how the kitchen turned out. It actually looked really spacious and awesome if I do say so myself. Uh, I love that bar area. It just makes it all really casual and um, I also really love the white color as well. It makes it look really fresh and refreshing and all throughout this build you guys will see me actually decorate with these really small plants which i felt like was really appropriate because when i was looking at um scandinavian interiors contemporary scandinavian interiors i saw a lot of like little like plants and herbs and stuff all over the place um i do have to emphasize that when i'm talking about scandinavian interiors in this build i'm talking about contemporary Scandinavian interior because Scandinavian design is has a really long history. It's a really popular design choice um, all throughout the 20th century and it's different with you know previous styles like there's mid-century modern Scandinavian um, and there's also regional variations. By the way, in case you guys didn't know, um, the countries that make up Scandinavia are Sweden, Norway, Finland, Denmark, and Iceland. 
Um, I wouldn't have guessed that Iceland was part of Scandinavia, but apparently it is. Um, you guys just saw me um, make a little basement, which is not something that I usually do in my homes, but I realized that I didn't have space for laundry, so I had to make a basement for it. But Scandinavian homes do have basements. Um, they use it to store a lot of their winter gear, like their sleds and their snowboards, and they also apparently use bikes a lot so that's also where they put their bikes as well so we have a little basement for doing laundry i love this master bedroom area i use this thing with the windows um, on one wall and i like to call it like breaking the fourth wall because two of the windows you guys can see open up to the outside but there's another um mirror that actually reflects the inside and it's like really breaking the fourth wall you guys get what i mean i really really like what i did there um ooh, another notable thing i learned about about scandinavian interior and this is new to me but apparently it's widespread is that they don't use curtains i mean some of them use curtains but very sparsely um usually it's just like a little piece of cloth but I'm I was actually quite surprised to learn that most Scandinavian homes, um, even if people live in apartments or even if people live in you know their individual homes, they don't have curtains, um, which makes me wonder about their privacy. But I guess if you're changing, um, you'd probably do it like in a corner or something. And I guess when you really need privacy, is the only time you're gonna need privacy is in the bathroom and i guess nobody would really have like really big windows in their bathrooms anyway that's just my assumption but wow that's that's new to me actually i was reading up on um contemporary scandinavian interiors so that i would have something meaningful to teach you guys in this build and i was like what they don't use curtains um but it makes sense i apologize for the traffic <laughs> Um, outside um, as per usual I have to do that in every video um, for some reason people feel like the street outside is for drag racing I don't know why um, but yeah I just kept it really really relaxed and really chill I love using that lamp I actually used it two times in this build so hopefully people don't hate me for it um but there's this little space outside the master bedroom and i made it into kind of like an office area um this is also a build that's got a lot of storage space <laughs> it's got a lot of cabinets it's got a lot of um bookshelves um and apparently the scandinavians um made an art out of you know their storage spaces so that's that. Scandinavian interiors typically don't have a lot of clutter, so I did try to tone it down a little bit here, um, but there's still quite a bit of clutter going on. One thing that I kind of had an epiphany in my recent builds is that I realized how much I actually really like these bare walls. Um, I really like the look of these like naked white walls. Um, I never knew that because in my older builds, uh, it would always bother me, um, empty walls that didn't have anything in them. Um, but recently I have been loving just the look of the walls and I think a lot of it has to do with just the lighting. Um, I, I, I just I just really like them. So there's not many artworks in this build. I think, most of the artworks I used are, once again, that modern abstract painting that came with pets. I really, really love that painting. I'm so happy. Also, there's clocks in this build. Yay! There's this one modern clock that I used um, on the dining room, and I think that's the first time I'm using that one. But yeah, that one also looks really good. I'm really happy that I was able to use that. Um, it was quite tricky to have this fireplace area on this 
split level because the fireplace snaps to the wall and it doesn't want to go all the way down if you have a split level foundation so what i did to hide like the floating area is actually put just rocks in underneath the fireplace and that's kind of like a nod to frank lloyd wright's falling water um just one of my favorite buildings i always talk about it in my builds but i really like that little feature um and yeah most of the furniture is just white and beige and um neutral colors and a lot of like really little herbs and fresh plants all over the place um i really really love this living room area because it's got the view of the lake outside and it looks really awesome oh also at this point i took out the mod because i don't know if it happens to you guys but for me it glitches a little bit with like the sofas and the love seats so furnishing the living room i had to take out the mod but i will put it back later on as i finish decorating the rest of the interior but yeah i thought that i would include this part because i really had fun with all the clutter items uh I, it felt so good especially putting these little plants uh in a way that looked kind of like cozy but also modern as well i feel like that that kind of really represents what scandinavian contemporary scandinavian interior is all about oh i love this area uh, so i used one of the chandeliers that came with dine out um and it looks amazing ah oh, it looks so awesome you guys will see more of that in the screenshots or you guys have probably seen it um because i've shared a couple of pictures of that on twitter uh yeah so this area right here upstairs it's kind of like the family room slash video gaming area i don't know um but i really like how i used that one outdoor chair uh, and I put it inside. I really like that. I also used a couple of items from the much loved um, <laughs> My first pet stuff uh, Yeah, I actually really like that lamp. Oh my gosh and that sofa I really I really love it. I used it in my past couple of builds and that love seat. Oh my gosh It's it came with my first pet stuff and it just looks really awesome but yeah, I actually really like this space. I was really happy with how it turned out. Um, right next to this room though, there is this kind of like weird area. I had no idea what to make of it. So I still wanted it to make, there's an ambulance outside, I'm so sorry. But I still wanted to make this into like a, a functional little area. I didn't want to take it out because I liked how it looked outside. So I kind of just forced this meditation area i think it does make a little bit of sense you know you got all of the space for yourself it might be a little bit cramped but you are facing the outside um and yeah it's just you know it's just a really nice kind of like picture window for somebody to meditate um hopefully nobody is playing video games outside <laughs> that's the only thing but this right here i imagine to be kind of like the guest bedroom and for this part or for this room i used some color surprise uh yeah i used like these periwinkle um shelves that actually match the bed um which made me so happy um but yeah this room has a lot of blues and a lot of cool colors i thought that that was great just to kind of mix things up a little bit um i really really liked how that room turned out actually um and yeah most of the rooms have a tv except for this bedroom right here which i imagine to be kind of like the kids bedroom or the teens bedroom um this one doesn't have a tv but it does have a stereo and it also has an easel as well so whoever lives here or whoever stays here is a little bit more on the creative side if i do say so myself but i also really like this room actually it's got a, this interesting shape once again the windows have no curtains but i mean this is generally supposed to be like on an isolated area 
So I don't think there's gonna be much problems regarding the privacy and stuff. Um, but yeah, I really like how modern and just chill everything came together. And I think that is pretty much it for the interior. So working on this little deck area, I wanted it to contrast with all of the straight lines in the house. So I made it more angular shape. And I just had to have a couple of items over here. Of course, I had to have the swimming pool. Um, somebody might want to do the polar bear club, if you guys get what I mean. That is a Sims 3 Seasons reference. Um, and then I also put like a hot tub as well. And yeah, just um, a barbecue area and just, you know, an outdoor dining area as well. Um, that's pretty much it. Oh, I also put like a stove. Um, one of my friends, I, I don't know if he's watching this, but he went to Europe last year, I believe, and I saw him take a picture with one of those stoves. And I was like, whoa, people actually use that in real life. Um, I live in a tropical country, so I've never seen one of those. Um, I never even knew that those were functional until I saw him take a photo with that. <laughs> anyway, for the landscaping, I wanted to go... I don't know how to describe it, but I wanted to use the trees that had like this um, really straight white, um, yeah, really straight white um, bark or stem. I, oh, I, I forget it. But yeah, um, I just tried to be as simple as possible with the landscaping. And I just wanted it to look like um, one of those like really hipstery, trendy photos online of architectural stuff that really brings out the beauty of the build. But it looks like that is going to be it for this build. So I hope you guys had fun watching this video and I hope you guys enjoy enough to help support the channel by sharing the video and also subscribing also leaving a like and a comment will be very much appreciated as well so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up my commentary right here so yeah you all have an awesome 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 day thank you so much for watching enjoy the rest of the video and i will see you guys next time bye bye